What was uh what 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 kind of was the catalyst to you finding Christ and you know giving your life up to, hey, brother. to a good Jesus out there? Yeah, yeah, two 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 things, two things. Uh, one day when I was sixteen years old, it was a Wednesday night. I was smoking weed heavy, like in the middle of a smoking session. Good Wednesday. Yeah, good 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 weed Wednesday. Uh, my friend was like, "Hey, Miles, bro, we should go to church." I'm like, "Go to church." Hi. Like, yeah, hi. I'm Sounds like, what are you talking like a about? Great time. What are you talking about? Go to church. He's like, bro, they got the girls at the youth group, bro. We go crazy. <laughs> like, let's tap in. Let's really go. Uh, holla at some girls. And so we went, but the youth group was closed that night. Right. And so we went into the main, the main sanctuary with all the older people. So we went in there, and then me, never been in, in a church before. Like, I've never been a church person. I don't know the music. I didn't right. know anything about it. But in the service, I was like captivated. What kind of church was this? Was this a black church? It was a black church. Okay. Black church. I was captivated. Uh, then at the end of the message, the pastor did what's called an altar call where you call somebody to the front if they want to accept the Lord. And when I went to the front, me being the only one that went to the front, it's like I was uncontrollably like crying my eyes out. And I, I, I literally felt something I never felt before. It right. was like a warmth and embrace. You know what I'm saying? And, and so it wasn't that, the weed. It, a brother? Nah. Wasn't the weed. It felt, it felt like God took away one high and gave me a new one that night. Just you know, so we're clear. The night you accepted God, you were high. One hundred percent. Nice. One hundred percent. That's great. Yeah, yeah. But but I was still like like on the fence about it, right. even even with that moment. But two years after that, I was like in a tug of war for my soul, for real. Like my friends in the streets was like, Miles, bro, like why are you why are you switching up? Then my yeah. girlfriend at the time, who's, who's now my wife, she was like, Let's go to church more. Let's really like try to get better with this. And so on a Saturday night, I'm like, God, if you're real, I need you to speak to me in church tomorrow. If you're real. If not, then I'll just live my own life. I went to church the next day. Out of nowhere, the guest speaker from Atlanta sees me in the back. He said, you, young man, come here. Calls me out of the whole church, a whole crowd of church. I came to the front. He was like, young man, I don't know what's going on in your life, but I feel like uh, you're called to do music for God. Uh, God's going to use you on social media. God's going to change your life. And all of these things, right? Tell me things about myself I didn't never told nobody. He didn't know I was struggling. He didn't know who, he didn't know who I was. Who was this guy? His name is Apostle Harden. I never met him. It wasn't James Harden. No, nah, not no. James Harden. Okay. But told me that, and then that that was like, okay, like, I feel like this is a Shout out to thing. Apostle Harden. That guy, he's on his shit. Hey, brother, no cap. Damn. He was tapped in. So he he was just like, he kind of just like showed you the way. Like, oh, this is this is the right path I need to go on. I feel like God answered my prayer through him calling me out to the front. That's for surely. Yeah. No, nah, I mean, I get it. That shit's crazy. They asked him the night before and then he called out the music and the social media and... Wild. And at that... So what year was... How long ago was this? Was Brother, this, that... Was this 2018? That was October 14th, 2012. Oh, shit. That, that was 2012. Like, I didn't fully dive into the music... At that time, but that's when I knew eventually. So from 2012 to like 2018, what are you doing to make money? Are you just got a regular job? What do you? <laughs> so I was working at a movie theater at that time, uh, my cinemas in Pittsburgh. Then I was working at Wells Fargo for like four years. Uh, then Travis Credit Union. So you was a, you were at the bank. So yeah, I, I was a little banker. So you're yeah, good, you're good with math. Yeah, but I hated it. I I did not like. Yo, working. when you guys <laughs> would like, my friend manages a bank, and every time. There's like sixty dollars missing. She has. She's the manager, so oh, she has bro. to go through the entire oh day. Sometimes she'll be at the bank until like eleven o'clock at night, trying to track down where sixty dollars went. Trauma, bro. Don't even tell. And that's how I got fired. That's how I got fired from the bank, twenty nineteen. Well, it, it, it could be. It that. could be like the. But but it's like if if you can't find where the money's missing, it's on you, right? Yeah, yeah. And sometimes if it's like somebody goes to the bank and they and you give them too much money. <laughs> That's they're, they're not gonna give it back to you. Sometimes, sometimes, but most of the time, of course not. You would give it back, especially cause... if you work in the hood. We worked in Antioch. Yeah, all kind of people. Shout out to Woody. Rest in peace. Big tones from Antioch. Oh yeah. 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 Hey, Simba's from Antioch. Yes, he is. Yeah. That Lone Tree, Deer Valley legend. Him and Young Kurt was really putting on. But yeah, no, nah, I, I, I just. I, so you were you were just doing the normal shit. So you start taking music serious again in 2018. Yep, yep, for Sully. 
So how many? And I, I was a youth pastor too during the time I was working at the bank. So, so I'm, at, I'm at the church, like teaching young people and stuff too. How many? Uh, like how long before you actually started to like catch real traction doing this new style of music, and you were like, oh, this is gonna work. Like this might work out. Like immediately. Was, immediately. Yeah, immediately. It's been it's been a slow burn, but I had an immediate spark. Well, you're also pretty talented. So like a lot of Christian rappers aren't that talented. <laughs> You know, from what I've heard, at least. Brother. The I'm only I'm one I can on. point at is Lecrae. I'm going to put you on some dope ones. Do you remember a guy named Carmen back in the day who used to sing on, like, channel, well, on, like, the Christian TV? His name was Carmen. Carmen. I don't, I don't know. Oh, my God. So i would been to black churches many times. My best friends, like, very religious, grew up with him, would go to church with him. And every time I'd be, like, the only white kid in that motherfucker. And I feel like the... The preacher would be looking right at me. And I'd just be like, <laughs> and I'd have all these older black ladies dancing and losing their shit next yeah, to me. With yeah, yeah, wigs their falling ass off. Hats on. Yeah. And I'd just be sitting there just shook, like, damn, why'd I spend the night at this fool's house this weekend? Damn. <laughs> but, but there was this, but it, we, he used to listen to Christian music at, the, at his house. There was a guy named Carmen and then obviously Kirk Franklin, you know. Yeah, Kirk, a, still going crazy to this day. Apply stunt double. <laughs> as Ply's father. Well, no, no, yeah. Ply's is his son. <laughs> yeah, it could be Ply's dad. Yeah. You yeah, never know. Yeah. Um, but no, I mean, like, obviously, your shit is actually dope. So, like, it's immediately you saw that it was going to work. Immediately. Uh, I felt like, you know, it was time for me to dive into it. So, I was doing everything that I could to really try to pop off and gain some traction. So, I was dropping freestyle videos, was going kind of crazy right. on Instagram. But I was also doing every kind of show I could community show, church show, even like these award ceremonies for rappers in the Bay. And so there's something called the Nine Quota Awards for the 925 Area Code in Pittsburgh that happened in 2018. I was the only Christian rapper, a part of the show. And in the middle of my set, while I'm performing, the music cuts out, right? As it cuts out, instead of me panicking, being pissed at the sound man, I just freestyled a hook. Right. Devil want to run up on me. It's bad. Somebody recorded it. It went viral on Facebook. The whole theater went dumb to that joint. And that was the, my first song that really like got me wow. popping in California. That's dope. Yeah, it's kind of crazy, <laughs> kind of crazy. Yeah, so that that like had my schedule going nuts. Like, my my tour schedule was like an ancient scroll. You had to like. So you were like, doing like concerts. You were doing like church stuff. Like all of the above. Like so, I was throwing my own shows, but primarily I was getting booked at conferences, at churches, and youth groups, and all of that. But it would be lit, and I'll post the footage, and it's like you couldn't really tell it's a church. It looked like it's a lit concert. You know what I'm saying? 